Hello guys, today I want to demonstrate you a module of Quick Admin Panel called CSV Import and a few tricks how to customize that import. So imagine you have a simple table CRUD called Projects with a few fields and you need to import this CSV with two fields only, so name and description, you have them somewhere in your CSV and for now you don't want to import owner and start date which are nullable, so how to enable that module first. So I will demonstrate you how it works and then we'll dive into the code how to customize that for those two fields. So in your generator, in the quick admin panel, you go to modules, click CSV import, install, then go back to your menu scruds and enable that module on the cruds you want. In our case, it's project, show more options, CSV import, save crud. And that's it, whenever you download the code, it will contain a button for CSV import on that table. I will demonstrate you now. So here we go, after the code is generated, I click preview panel and land it here. So here's a button, CSV import. And if we click that, choose a file. In our case, file doesn't contain header row, parse CSV, and as a temporary step, it will show you all the columns. And you may choose which database fields it correspond to. So name in this case, and description in this case. We import data and there you go, three rows imported with owner and start date null, but these fields were imported successfully. So this is how it works by default. Now with owner and start date, those are the things that you may want to customize because the owner, for example, is a name of a user. It's a relationship. And while importing the CSV, you want to transform it to user ID, right? And with start date, the trick is date format. So in this case, for this panel, if I go to settings, I've chosen not a standard date format, not year, month, date, as it is saved in the database, but different format. So how to parse that in the CSV. Now let's download the code and I will show you the example locally. Locally, I have this CSV file with admin and with dates. Admin is a user of our system. So in the database, here it is an admin. And in the projects table, if we go to structure, owner ID is integer. So we need to transform this name to this integer. And also start date is a date, which is not in that format. Now let's see the code. In every controller that uses CSV import, we have this line. Use CSV import trade. And all the magic happens in that trade with two methods. Process CSV import, which is actually inserting the data in the database. So populating the array of insert and then chunking that by 100 rows and then inserting that. And keep in mind we are doing insert, not create. So it's not eloquent, it's a query builder. So it will not automatically do any eloquent magic. And another method which happens actually earlier, it reads the CSV file and shows that temporary page for you to choose the fields which corresponds to each other. So we are not interested in that one, instead we are interested how this works. And to customize that, we copy and paste all the method, copy into our controller. So this is how traits work in general. You may override anything from the trait in your class. And here I am in my controller, already pasted that method. And inside of that, there is a thing called insert array. And that will be the final array that will be processed for insertion. That's why before the insert is filled with another variable, with another temporary row, we may customize that. So this is exactly what I did here. Let's close the sidebar. So whatever is inside that TMP variable, this is a row of CSV. You can customize anything. This is what I'm doing. If start date is not empty, then I'm doing carbon magic, creating from one format and then exporting to another format. With owner, I'm searching users by name with owner ID, and if I find it, then I assign owner ID as a new ID. And those users are above, a bit above, here. So I'm not doing query to the database every time I need a user. I first get all the users and then filter from those. And final thing for it to work, I need to add spreadsheet reader to use statement here in the use section of a controller. And that's all you need to know, basically. Let's try it out. So here I am in my local version. I import the CSV without hetero, parse, and see four fields already. So we correspond to name, description. Here we choose owner ID and start date. We import the data. And there we go. Whenever it found the owner, 
it assigned admin and start date is assigned successfully and in the database if we go to content refresh as you can see in the database it's actually owner id and start date in a different format but quick admin panel automatically transform that in a table in whatever settings you've chosen so to recap csv import if you want to overwrite anything or add your custom logic just copy the trade method to your controller and then do whatever you want there